voted one of the best small towns in America, Fillmore, California, is surrounded by lemon, orange, and avocado groves in Southern California's famed Ventura County Farming Belt. Fillmore is a great place to live. It's a nice small town, great people, great climate, one of the best. A much photographed town of 15,000 residents, it is also home to the Pacific Coast Pipeline Superfund site, separated from residents on the eastern side of Pole Creek. There was a refinery here from 1915 until 1950, at which time it ceased operations and was dismantled. The site was placed on the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's national priorities list because former operations and disposal methods contaminated the soil and groundwater. Chemicals made their way down into the groundwater, resulting in two small areas, or plumes, of contamination. Benzene is a known carcinogen, meaning that it can cause cancer. So one of the first things EPA did was look to see if the contaminated groundwater here was affecting city drinking water. And we found out that the city of Fillmore gets its drinking water from Sespe Creek, which is over a mile and a half away. So the city wells are not affected by the contamination here. We directed Texaco, which is now a division of Chevron, to pump and treat the contaminated groundwater. The pump and treat system was able to remove most of the benzene in the groundwater, but it was not able to clean up the groundwater to California drinking water standards. EPA also uh, investigated the soil and took soil samples both on the refinery property and west of Pole Creek near residences, and we found that there's no contamination near the residents. There are areas across the site that have lead and PAHs, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, above the cleanup standards for commercial or recreational use of the property. Under EPA oversight, Chevron has excavated over 42,000 cubic yards of soil from locations across the former refinery. The soil was sampled to make sure the cleanup requirements were being met, which resulted in more soil being excavated than originally planned and requiring two consolidation areas on site. The areas were covered with a five-layered engineered cap to protect the public. On the hill to the east, the soil was cleaned up to a higher standard in order to ensure that people, birds, and burrowing animals are protected. This year, Chevron will install an air sparging system, which is a treatment system that injects air into the groundwater in order to speed up the breakdown of benzene, which is consumed by naturally occurring bacteria. The groundwater cleanup will take much longer than the soil cleanup, up to 25 to 50 years. We understand that residents are concerned. However, they do not need to be concerned about benzene coming up from the groundwater through the soil into their homes. While the groundwater cleanup continues, EPA will continue to monitor the groundwater to make sure that the city drinking water wells, agricultural wells, are not affected by the benzene that is in the groundwater. Chevron has resumed earth moving and grading of clean soil, and by late summer, they will finish the permanent drainage control features such as concrete V ditches and retention basins. The air sparging system will be installed by October. The goal is to clean up the property so it can be reused for commercial and light industrial development. EPA has directed Chevron to make sure that there is no dust going over towards the residents. So they are spraying water, to keep the dust down and there is air monitoring going around. There's a 24-hour monitoring station to make sure. I think some of these industrial opportunities uh, provide better paying jobs than other industries. Having some opportunities for residents to make a decent living in town I think is, is a, a great thing. For more information, please visit our website.